What's up everybody? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We got a new video for you guys today. Today we're gonna be sawing another big oak log and we're gonna turn that thing into some nice five quarter slabs. Stay tuned. Now that we got the log over to the sawmill, we gotta get that big guy up on the sawmill and then we've gotta orient it where those knots are up because they're gonna be too wide if they're sideways. So we'll have to fight that battle now. I'm gonna explain what Tyler was just talking about when he said the knots needed to be up straight. We need to get this log onto the mill looking just like this in this fashion. <laughs> but we need these knots on top so we can just saw them right off and they won't be in our way.
Okay, so I want to talk to you guys real quick about this log. My first cut was at 27 inches. So this is, by all stretches, a very large log for our area. Um, the average log we saw here at Wallace Farm and Sawmills probably 14 inches, 16 inches. And our regular bigger logs are 20, 22 inches. So anything that's in that 26 plus, you know, when you start getting up near the 30 mark, we consider a really big log around here. We're not out on the Washington and Oregon coast where they got the giant redwoods. That's just, we don't have that in this area. There's a lot of uh, plantation pine down here in Northern Mississippi. And, uh, you know, any of these big oak logs that we get, you know, they're fun to cut because we don't ever see them. So I'm gonna get Britt to turn the camera over here to the log and I wanna show you something. When you're making these cuts on these logs, you have to get like, right now we have clearance. If you look down beside the log, we have clearance to make another additional cut or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because the, mo the more I get off now, the easier this log will be to handle on each successful cut because, successive cut, because you, you got to get clearance. You know, you don't have it. I, I can't remember what the cut width on this thing is, but it's not a wide head sawmill. So the, the more I get off now, the closer over to the bunks that's going to be, and that's going to be easier for me to have clearance to make sure I can finish this log up without getting my chainsaw out, which is something I don't want to have to do.
guys, this has become one of my favorite parts of saw milling. It's time for the grain reveal. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? I am pretty, I, I love this one. I'm in okay. love with this one. We went ahead and like squared the edge there and then book matched it over so you could see like once these dried out and you ripped them, what you could make from this. I mean, that's probably, that's in the neighborhood of like 40, 40 something inches. I think they're like 220, 22 pieces wide. Oh, I could definitely see a dining table in my house with this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. That would make a very, very, very nice piece. Of course, you'd have to dry it and then plane it and then finish it and all kinds of stuff. But this just gives you a rough idea of what it would be, you know, down the line. So tell us in the comments down below, what do you guys think about this grain?
just like that we finished it up and we ended up getting i think there was like 10 womba twills we ran through the edge or 13 or 14 inch and a quarter i said the womba twills over here but it's all five quarter mm -hmm. and there's like 13 or 14 uh five quarter boards over there i'm kind of looking and counting but uh then the two live wide edge live Live edge. Live edge. <laughs> Wide live, live edge. edge. So anyways, that log made some beautiful material. If you guys agree with us that it was some beautiful material out of that, comment down below. The reason we ask, I always say comment down below this or that. Engagement in the videos by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and all those things. Helps us get our videos out there. Yes, it helps us spread into the algorithm. So help us grow. We appreciate that. But uh, I enjoyed sawing that one. It's quickly becoming one of our favorite things to saw some of those logs into like slabs or five quarter or whatever on the hardwood and do like grain reveals because that is so far outside of what we typically do. <laughs> yes. What we typically do is turn pine into pallet material and we do that by the thousands. We do thousands of boards a week. So it's a good break away from that. And it gives us something cool to show you guys that's different. And when you open up a log, I mean, think about it. That's, you're the first one that's seen in there. It's very unique. So. You never know what you're going to find either. And that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to check us out on our Patreon, Instagram, and our TikTok. Till next time, guys. See ya.